Well, hello everybody. Welcome back down into the dungeon. Today, I thought we'd talk uh, fairly quickly, ish, kind of, about um, the Arrow Garden decision and uh, just kind of what I'm going to do about that. So basically, I've done some math, crunched some numbers, uh, some of my favorite things to do right there, and I'm not even being sarcastic. And I think, at the price that I initially found it at, $69.99, um, it would be basically the same price for me to build something um, as it would be to buy that small aero garden. Now, that said, whatever I'm going to build will undoubtedly be larger and have a lot more plant con uh, planting containers, but whether or not it saves me any money, whether or not it's going to be any better, that's, that's all kind of the gray area and that's where these questions are going to need to kind of be answered. This inner shelf space here is going to become my new aero garden space. These are just sitting here for now because they're not sprouted, they don't really need much light. I don't know what's going on there so they can just hang out. But, um, I'm going to use this as my space and when you think about it, there are not a lot of components that go along with the Aero Garden design idea. One of them is light, and I can get, I've actually ordered it already, a new set of these lights here. Complete string, I think it's like 16 and a half feet of 6000K spectrum LEDs. It's $25. It's going to come with the plug, with the switch, and with the string of lights. that will look more or less like this until I put them together. If you want to know how I did that or I'm going to do that, check back on the $25 PVC LED light strip video. I can uh, perhaps put a link down below. But anyway, so that's already $25 of the $69, or we'll just round up to $70, that that Aero Garden would cost. For my water reservoir, I'm going to need something like this. I'm not going to use this. Um, because it's already got stuff stored in it, but it, I'm also going to need a darker side so I could paint the sides of it or I could just, you know, get a new one that's a thicker plastic. And I'll have to drill holes into the lid, obviously, to make my planting spots. But one of these totes is going to cost me about 10 bucks because it's either that or it's a $40 trip to the city which is not saving me any money right there. $40 for gas, 10 for the tote, 25 for the lights. I'm, I should have just bought the Aero Garden and had it delivered. Now that said, I'm going to be able to get a lot more planting spaces into something like this than the three that come in the standard Aero Garden. And ultimately, my interest in that Aero Garden is for starting seedlings. So they can be planted a lot closer together than actual growing plants would be able to get away with. I'm going to use these little shot glass sized party cups and uh, make sure they're all well cut out at the bottom. And then I'm just going to fill them up with my potting soil and use them in the lid just like the Aero Garden, um, um, I want to call them pucks but they're not really, plugs would be in that tote. So this is another three four dollars. Luckily I don't have to spend this money because I've already got it. Uh, I think I've got 18 of these at the moment. I'll have to rummage around and find them all, but... Okay, so we're at 10 for the tote, 25 for the light, you know, another 3 for the cups, so... 35, 38 bucks so far. The Aero Garden does come with nutrients, um, but I've already got some, so I don't have an extra expense there. But this setup is not terribly cheap, uh, like 30 or 40 bucks, just to get these basic ones. So right there, for the nutrients, the tote, and the light, we're already basically at the cost of buying one of the Aero Gardens. Now I'm going to get a lot more nutrient use out of those big bottles than I would get out of the Aero Garden bottle, I'm sure. But oh, at the same time, you know, there, there comes a point where you have to go, what is my time worth? What is, you know, per hour, you know, what do you get paid per hour? And even if you just value it at that, and frankly, I think most of us are underpaid in the industries that we work in. I know I feel underpaid in the industry that I work in. Um, so what's that worth to you? What's minimum wage even where you are? You know, it's like $11 here, it's $15 in some states. So once you start factoring your time into the build, you're really getting very, very close, if not exceeding, that $70 mark. So the question is, is it better to DIY something for about the same price, 
because it will have more planting positions, or is it better to buy something that is completely assembled and ready to go? In the case of the air garden, it's, um, I'm going to do both, honestly. I, I, I have given it a lot of thought. I've had a lot of comments come back to me on that particular video. The vast majority of people clearly want to see me build something. So that is what I'm going to do because that's kind of how I do things on this channel anyway. But the truth of the matter is, I do really want one of those stupid cute little gardens because I want to see how it works the way they built it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have more space with the one I build, but is it going to be better? I don't know. You know, with those costs that uh, I was mentioning, I'm going to need to get another air pump. So that's probably 10 to $15 right there. Again, that's taking up, up to and beyond the, the sale price that I found for the Aeroponic Garden. It's better than the 120 that they're charging for it now, not on sale, absolutely. And like I said, it's gonna have more planting spots. But at 70 bucks, where I initially found it, once you factor in lights, tote, <sighs> timer because you'll need a timer for the lights I mean I'm just gonna plug straight into my same old timer as everything else is plugged into but if you were building one from scratch you would need to get that you'd need to get your air pump you gotta get your tote you're possibly gonna have to get a hole saw I'm lucky because I got a multi-size hole saw and I think one of these two will be the right size to drill through for my uh, little shot glass party cups but Ultimately, I think if you can find it on sale for that price, you're probably doing all right as far as what you're getting for your money. And when you consider the fact that most of you guys who are watching my videos are down in the States, these things are even cheaper. I had one fella tell me, I think it was a fellow, anyway, so hard to tell with some of these YouTube names, but I had one viewer comment that they found one of these at Walmart for $25. So for $25, there is absolutely no way that I could build that. That is the cost of my LED string of lights. So, yeah, I am going to set it up. I am going to DIY one, and I am going to buy one of those little ones when I see it on sale again. I'm a fairly patient-ish guy, so I'm prepared to wait until that sucker comes back down to $70, because I am also a fairly cheapish guy and I'm not prepared to pay 120 bucks for something that I saw for 70. Not unreasonable I don't think. But will one be better than the other? I don't know. We're going to have to do a side by side growing comparison before we really have the answer to that question. A lot of the time it does work out to be a better deal to build something yourself because it's going to be better or it's going to be larger or it's going to be just plain cheaper or you've got the satisfaction of hands-on production of something. You've got a pile of parts when you start the day and you've got an assembled project when you finish the day. That has value. That is a wonderful feeling looking, you know, oh, I made this, I built this. Yeah, I feel good about me. But at the same time, time is money and I'm just not entirely convinced that DIY is always cheaper. I have a lot of things laying around. I'll probably be able to use some of those things instead of buying parts for my version of an arrow garden. It's not going to be the same, so any comparison is going to be, uh... So I think if I'm going to do a comparison video or a comparison video series on these things, then I should make it as true to form as possible. So that as much as I wish I could tell you, yeah, it's going to be so much cheaper for me to build it this way and it's going to be infinitely better and all of that stuff, I can't with um, any sense of uh, moral composure say that that is the case. I, I honestly think I'm going to end up spending about the same for both of them. I don't have a second air pump. I have to order new lights. I have to get a new tote. It doesn't sound like it's adding up fast, but it actually does. I think really the biggest advantage to DIYing anything is the ability to piecemeal. You can buy the air pump off of this check and the light string off of next check and the toad off of next check and you know in that way you can slowly put together the pieces that you need to build what you want. In that aspect DIY is absolutely superior to trying to buy a completed project. In my case I am saving up 
pennies from that swag buck site which by the way I'm gonna throw another link down below to that because I got um, $38 in Amazon.ca gift cards out of that basically in the month of February and that's not including referrals or anything that's just watching videos and answering surveys so while it's not a huge amount of money it is enough that it's paying for a new timer for my dungeon because I've, I've uh, ordered a two outlet three prong timer so that hopefully I can hook up my buddy's aeroponic garden again um, to try and do some rooting there because he was talking to me and apparently the fact that I had the water on 24-7 was not helping. It's ne it needs to be 15 on, 15 off, much like the big Euro grower aquaponic garden is. So, you know, I'm getting that and I'm getting that $25 uh, LED strip. So that is already coming out of the swag buck stuff. So that's not cash that I'm paying out. So that's great. That makes this aspect of the DIY project a little bit cheaper, a little bit easier. But that said, at the same time, my plan was to save up those swag bucks and just buy the Aero Garden with that. So it's not like I would have been spending any actual money out of my pocket to do that. It's just money that could have gone towards something else is going towards something garden related and let's face it <laughs> almost any spare cash that I get goes to something garden related anyway or snow removal related it really all depends on what time of the year it is so as to when I'm gonna start my DIY arrow garden project I'm not sure it really all depends on when those lights get here in the mail I'm not a prime member so I don't have free two-day delivery and all that stuff but I do order an awful lot so I probably should consider that so yeah I have to wait and find out when that's gonna get here and I'm still waiting on the seeds for this month's pepperheads seeds um, those should be here anytime though He's pretty good about getting things to me, and as I recall, it didn't take much more than two weeks last time that I ordered from him, so they should be here soon, and then they will get sent out soon. Um, yeah, that's, that's just a whole other interesting thing. I want to get started on ordering the seeds for next month, like not March seed send out but the the April seed send out I'm gonna get started on that next time I've got a little bit of cash so hopefully I can send those out on the first of the month um, actually you guys who are pepperheads maybe you can let me know over on the patreon page whether or not you'd rather just wait and get both of those at the same time or if you'd like me to just send them out as they come but uh, huh, either way it's gonna be interesting those are some fun seeds that are coming right now and uh, I'm only <laughs> I'm only finding more sites as I carry on so there are going to be some interesting variations on the pepper concept that are that are being sent out to people and that to me is super exciting but anyway this is uh, more about the arrow garden and my decision about the arrow garden I have decided absolutely I'm gonna do both I am gonna build one and I am gonna buy one when it's on sale because the price compares about the same to me and on that note, there's really not a whole lot more to add to this particular video, so I'm just going to step upstairs to my little computer desk area and get to doing some editing. And, uh, yeah. Don't forget to check out the live stream on Revtoast TV, R-E-V-T-O-S, capital T, capital V, all one word. He will be up there tonight, undoubtedly with uh, Todd Rob Jeff, also known as Rob Space Z, that's R-O-B-B, space Z um, and probably with Charles P C H A R L E S space P um, so yeah always very entertaining and we are still taking donations well I, I say we but it's it's really it's Dave uh, grown at home in WV he's taking donations in his PayPal account if you want to kick in something towards helping Rev rebuild his greenhouse the auction was an amazing success and congratulations again Anthony on that killer win and thank you again so much for your your just your amazing bid um, that in and of itself should be enough to get new plastic on Rev's greenhouse but honestly I'd like to, to see us as a community drive donations to a point where he can build a solid greenhouse because if you've been watching Rev's channel as long as I have which is <laughs> a long time possibly even longer than I've, I've had an actual running channel I'd have to check back and find out about that for sure but um, you you will have seen that he has unfortunately his greenhouse has been trashed by the wind so many times that he really needs a solid structure so if you're in a, a giving mood and you're you're feeling like it 
contact Dave S over at Grown at Home and WV. He'll give you the particulars on how to donate. I believe donations are being taken up to and including tomorrow night. And there is no minimum or maximum size. You know, if you want to give a buck, great. If you want to give 20 bucks, great. It all, it's all going to help a really great guy who has inspired me greatly over the years. So if you appreciate my persistence and, and uh, tenacity in this gardening thing, you know, I owe a lot of that to Rev. So just um, something to think about, something to think about. Yeah, and now I really am going to let you go. Uh, I need to get this edited. Obviously, I want to get it posted so you can see this before the live stream tonight. So I look forward to watching that and hopefully we'll be able to join in the chat on the live stream. Feel free to follow along. Feel free to speak up. It's always, uh, it's always more fun when everybody who's watching kicks in their two bits in that chat stream. It gets kind of crazy sometimes and it's always fun to see what Rob, the voice of the people, Z, will and will not read. So... Yeah, apparently there are seven words that he won't say. So, I I can only assume from listening to Anthrax as a younger man what those seven words must be. All right. All right. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you guys later, and I will definitely have something up tomorrow. So, I'll see you there if I don't see you on the live stream. Bye, everybody.